Rumors point to the budget iPhone being called the iPhone 5C. More leaks keep teasing what we should expect from the Moto X. And believe it or not, Samsung is working on building more tablets. I'm Jaime Rivera, and I keep wondering when Sammy is going to figure out the fact that they build too many tablets every year. This is Pocket Nail Daily. Let's start today off with the releases as iOS 7 Beta 4 reaches developers. Sadly, not a public beta, but we get to learn a lot of things. First of all, the update was only for bugs and fixes on the current generation iPhones, but on the newer ones, well, apparently we do get a hint of a fingerprint scanner in the home button, as you'll see in the photos. So uh, let's see what Apple brings to the table. When it comes to the Moto X, we've got some ads showing the phone in green now. We've also got reports that the device might be ready to be sold this week, which is interesting. Now, set your calendars Thursday, August 1st at 4.30 p.m. We will be holding an editorial roundtable on this device with everything that you need to know. There will not be a live stream of the event, but our own Michael Fisher will be hands-on with the device in New York City, and then he will join the Hangout to tell us everything that we need to know about this phone. So remember to join us. Let's see what Motorola has in store for us. Now, if you were wondering when the HTC One Mini is reaching US shores, well, we've got some leaked press renders of the device with an AT&T logo at the back, so you do know which carrier is getting it. And it's only a matter of time before that happens. We don't know any dates, and we don't really know if we could recommend that you wait for this phone when compared to the One, so let's see uh, how this turns out. Now, Samsung is another company that we can't understand. Reports have it that the company is working on a new high-end lineup of tablets that'll be based on the display that you already know on the Nexus 10, uh, which is long overdue. We can't understand why Samsung tablets, you know, after seeing the Nexus 10, why is it that we don't have a high-end version of the tablets? And then you'd wonder what the company is going to be doing with the whole Galaxy Tab lineup. Links in the description for all the variants that we will probably be getting, even though we don't know if we should expect this with a big smile. And finally, for the hot news of the day, we've got some leaked photographs of the boxes of the future generation budget iPhone being dubbed the iPhone 5C. And don't worry, we know that the boxes are fake, but some trusted sources do mention that the name is accurate. The budget iPhone will be called the iPhone 5C. And well, that leads me to the question of the day. What do you think iPhone 5C stands for? I mean, what does the C make different here from the S that's usually been used every other time? Uh, and and are you interested in this budget iPhone? In my particular case, I have no clue. I know that the S in the past meant speed, I believe, but C. Um, leave us a comment down below. What are your bets? Of course, as always, for an earlier scoop of everything that's happening in the smartphone and tech world, be sure you follow us on Foggenow.com. Subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. You can also follow me on Twitter at Jaime underscore Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. See you tomorrow.